And we're back with more Seven Days to Die Alpha 20 Experimental. I've been looking at the shape pieces and all oh my balls. You're going to be able to build some amazing stuff. Specifically, anything with rounded corners and axe I was always interested in because it's breaking from the norm of the square block. So what I've been looking at in the moment is some dome pieces, they call them. So I have bottom pieces, they have uh, middle pieces, and they have the top pieces. So you should be able to build a nice little dome. So in the moment I'm building um, with those pieces, trying to see if we can make any size type of dome or only a certain fixed width kind of dome shape. But again, the, a lot of people will be finding a lot of things to build with. I mean, if you look at the default pieces or shapes, you're gonna have 1,365 shapes available. You're gonna find something to play with probably for anything you have in your mind. That it is absolutely amazing what you have available to you. And the way they've done it with these rounded corners is just absolutely fantastic. They have these little pieces here. Uh, they just call them Dome Bottom 5 or whatever. They're just some generic names. But these little pieces here are actually what allows you, if you can just about see it here, that is what allows you to fill in these gaps here. So you see without them, you have these weird endings and you can fill them in like that. And for the outside, they have the same pretty much. And what they did for that is they created these dome bottom pieces here. So you can actually then create your outside corners. Basically like that to fill in from behind the gap. And this is what I have pretty much sitting here on that side here. So this is really, really awesome the way this works. I like how many pieces they've added and opened up a whole set of possibilities. So I'm looking forward to what people are building on the internet. I'm already can imagine some of the videos like Z Nation. I can only imagine what he's going to build with all that. But anyway, so enough of that. I just wanted to give you a small flavor of these shapes and what I'm playing around with. So let's go. We have to do some quests today because we're running low on food. I haven't seen a buried supply quest yet, which worries me a little bit because they haven't been removed, but I haven't seen them either and I have been able to only cook one bacon and egg which I'm actually going to use now and we're also going to take a quick drink so we're not going to die completely so we're going to have to get some meat uh, some more eggs or any food or any money and buy some food from machines as much as we can oh by the way since the last episode I've been grinding a little bit of wood I went through some of the building sites and got some sand and put that in the forge and we got some jars available to us now as well which craft quite quickly and now that should sort out our thirst problem for the next while so let's definitely keep picking up the corn plants as we see them to make sure that we can make at least plenty of cornbread. Oh my, oh my balls, we have aggressive pigs. What the hell, why? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, they're gonna kill me, why? I didn't attack them. Why did they attack me? <laughs> oh, they gave me a heart attack. Oh my God, I thought I was going to die. Okay, can we actually build a nice bone knife now? No, not yet. Oh, what a start. What a cracker of a start. Oh my balls. At least we're gonna get some good meat now. And I think we're gonna have to do some bandaging as well. Holy balls. And what is this concussion? What do we do with that? Is it like a tablet? Because I have one at home. A painkiller, yes, we have a painkiller at home, so we're gonna do the quest and then we're gonna head home with the painkiller. Oh my balls, that gave me such a fright. Let's actually have a look and see if we can quickly double dip. If there's anything nearby to double dip. Yeah, so the baton is something you're gonna have to get used to because it has that really long hit before it comes back and you can hit it again. So this is how... Shit, there's somebody already coming, I can hear it. So you kind of have to time it correctly and be aware of the delay. All right, here we go. I never have done this POI before. I think it's a new POI. They added a lot of new POIs. So let's be wary of possible zombies here. Oh, we got an egger. Nice. Two rights. We still got enough energy for a third right and a fourth one. Bam, there you go. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to follow the path here. Hello there, my friend. Bam. Okay. Nice. Let's see what we have in here. Is there any more zombies in here? No. Very good. Maybe we get a wrench. No, no wrench. That would have been nice, though. Uh, we got another grill, which we don't really need. So we can scrap that. 
and we're hungry again. Food has been a real problem for me right now. Um, it's not the game's fault. I think it's just bad timing. I didn't really focus on food. I was too excited looking around and, you know, I could have done better. I had all that corn around me. I have free water around me. So what I'm doing now is the water and corn and making corn bread. I could have done that like ages ago on day one, literally. Okay, so do we have to go up top there? I don't think so. So let's see if this is open. It is. Who's waking up? Okay, we got a builder. Nice, okay. And give him a couple of lefties, and that's it. There we go, nurse. Bam, right in the face. And give her a second one, beautiful. Painkillers, please. Ah, come on, nurse. Oh, I completely forgot. There is actually a way to see your gear score stage, you guys were saying in the comments. So we have our game stage here, which is game stage 15 right now. And then on our person, I was told that here we have the loot stage. We're at loot stage 16. Now, I don't know exactly what that means uh, in Alpha 20 now, you know, what type of loot goes under which stage, but um, we're at loot stage 16. And that is a separate progression than your game stage now, which is really, really nice. And that changes. So if you go to the wasteland biome and look at your profile without making any other changes, your loot bonus should be much higher. So you might be at stage 20, for example. Okay, so let's have a quick look here. No zombie. No. Excellent. So let's get that in case we have to skedaddle really quickly. What do we have in here? Oh, baby, look at that. Nice. And that is still at loot stage 16. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. That means we can repair that with the pipes we have. Repair that one. And then is it much stronger? Oh, it's 5.6 stronger. That is really nice. Now let's see if there's a loot room. I imagine there is a loot room. There's usually a loot room in every house so far. Okay, there it is. Yes. I don't know if that was a good idea to close in case there's a zombie in here. Or... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Uh, okay. Stamina, 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 stamina. Oh, there we go. He's down. Okay, come on, guys. Let's play, Egger. Oh, come on, little Stevie. Here we go. This is this used to be the spider zombie. If you haven't seen Seven Days to Die before, this was the original spider zombie. They actually kept him in the game, which I really like. They replaced the spider zombie with one of those vicious looking... Somebody said it's like looks like a creature from Doom. Uh, Doom Creations. And um, left Stevie in and uh, didn't completely remove him, which I really like. So that was the locked bathroom. What were they all doing in the bathroom? Like, I mean, I suppose end of the world, you know, what else would you be doing in the bathroom? So, <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Let's see, oh, please, painkiller. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Vitamins, you know, they cure fatigue and disease resist, which is a bit late for us because we're already diseased. So let's take it anyway. Let's have a look what we're going to have in the loot box. Oh, we got some uh, melee weapons we're not going to use, and we're not going to use these guys. We're going to try out the crossbow, of course, when we find one or whatever. Oh, wow. That was it. Well, I suppose it's close, and it's better than what we have. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a safe behind the picture. Do we have a lockpick? We have one lockpick. Well, you know what? Let's try it. Nope. It broke. Wow. I love the way the weather changes. It makes it so much more immersive. Uh, it's wow. I love it. Look at the grass the wind and the rain and the thunder. Holy balls. Oh, whoa Oh an airdrop and it's so close. Let's go for it. I hope we're not gonna get devoured by wolves or something ah Oh Yes Beautiful. It's probably not enough. Is it? Oh, is it? Is it 5% honey gives us or is it only three or something? If it's five then we're just literally in luck. Oh Here's iron Oh, I really should spend some time here collecting iron. I definitely want to mark it on the map. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there we go. What you doing? You lost? Nice. So did they move all the ore now into the mountains? And that would make actually sense. I love this. If that's the case, that's a really good choice. Okay, we're getting very close and we're very wet in our concussion. We are absolutely, we're cold. We're wet. We're concussed. <laughs> but we found the crate, so let's make sure we're not gonna get stuck in this little hole here. Let's see what we got. Okay, we already know that, but what is this? A bundle of random ranged mods. Open? 
Oh, three mods. That is amazing. Now, the hunter mod uh, does more damage to animals. That is actually really, really good. So for hunting, when we see the rabbits. And then we have the modifies the spread horizontal pattern instead of a normal round one. There's the shotgun build. And then we have a weapon flashlight mod, which we actually can put on our new gun. Look at that. Nice. And what's the damage increase? Boom, 3.1. So it's not 10%. Well, it's not 10% on this one. Okay, let's go. I hand in our quest. Here, Weighted head mod. We already got that. Bar brawling. What is that? Sprinting power attacks have a high chance of knocking down your opponent. I wonder if that only applies to fist attacks or to any attack because that looks really, really cool. And I think we got some money as well as reward. Nice, because what we're going to do now is before we sell anything, let's read this and let's go and buy the sugar butts for bartering and the jailbreaker. Our house or current temporary base is south. So using anything south means it's closer to our house. So let's take this one. Like it, oh, I didn't realize we actually can loot the a car. I knew we looted the bus, but oh, look at that, an iron shovel. I love it, nice. Now let's take our painkiller. There we go, beautiful. So that should get rid of our concussion. And now we just need to worry about food. So let's take all the eggs we have and all the meat and see how many uh, bacon and eggs we can make. Oh, I didn't realize I already had cornbread in here as well. And we're running low on fire, so we can't finish it. So let's do that and make all the bacon and eggs we can muster. There we go. Nice. We're also going to be boiling at least half the water. And then the other half we're going to use to make glue. All right, let's queue up some forged iron because we're going to have to start looking after ourselves properly. We're not going to have to rely on random gen. So which means we're going to spend a point in salvage operation that allowed, allows us to make the wrench. Then we're going to go back here and we're going to use level two of advanced engineering to give us access to the workbench. So that is that completely sorted. We're also going to learn the cycle bike and we're going to go into another level of daring adventure. A power service truck? What would a power service truck possibly have? Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes. And give me those robotic pads, baby, because we are going into intellect. That is sweet. Can we loot all these? <gasps> Newspaper dispenser? I mean, it's paper, I'm guessing, but this is awesome that you can loot them. That is so cool. Oh, look at that. Okay. Makes no sense, but yeah, sure. I take it. Oh, hello. There's a friend. Oh, Wandering Horde was in, in extended sense. Oh my balls, I didn't even think about that. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Here we go. That zombie sense is really awesome to give you this extra challenge because it's not that fighting zombies necessarily is difficult. I mean, if you have it at a setting that you're comfortable with, like Nomad, Warrior, Adventure, Insane Nightmare, whatever, then it is, of course, uh, you know, adding that extra tension because you could have a roaming horde coming past here while you're in this shop and they'll just see you and they will come for you. I love this. That is really awesome, that zombie sense. Oh, and we leveled up fighting that horde, which is great because now we can put Electrocutioner another point in, which allows us to make a level three. And I did take extra clue we also just found clue there in the bin and i should be able to craft oh i need four more iron pipes okay four more iron pipes and then we can craft a level three baton i'm sure we're gonna find them in here but we're gonna do definitely a double dip on oh yes a double dip on some of the basics here oh i can hear the oh no 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 he's a toffee he is a toffee i'm gonna need the big hammer for that there we go okay now we can go to the baton Oh, he's still not dead. Okay. Stamina, 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 stamina. Bam. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, he is a big boy. Okay, let's do it. 
This is the official entrance here. I'm gonna use the hammer actually until we get the extra pipes. Because this is a very powerful upgrade, this hammer. There we go, beautiful. And we should get the rest of the pipes right here. Oh, okay, nighttime now. But we're indoors, which should be okay. And we have some coffee as well, which is beautiful. I'm using the flashlight on my weapon. And I know I have to change to my melee weapon if I see anything. Nice. Dead. Oh, there's one sneaky in the corner. Let's see what we have up here on loot. Oh, that is good. We can make some pockets from that. And there's the main loot of the building. There's someone right behind us, I think. I don't think we can shoot through the stairs. Nope. But it woke them up. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Nice. Oh, he's stuck on the stairs. Little Jeff over here doesn't know what to do. There we go. Nice. What a shot. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I don't know how, mu how many are there. Let's have a look. Okay, there's two. So I think we're going to have to cheese this. There we go. Oh, there still is a zombie here. Oh, he's one of those disgusting green hoodie guys that I don't like at all. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, we're not going to take the steel arrowheads. I don't think I can even craft this yet. Steel arrows, yeah, we can't craft this yet. So um, I'm going to scrap them. Nice. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Let's load those six bullets. <laughs> well, there's a medical pile as well. Uh, just some basic bandages, nothing exciting. I think we can make a pocket. Let's make some duct tape. And what else do we need? We have a sewing kit. We have the leather. What are we missing? Cloth fragments. Okay, so once we have enough cloth fragments, we actually can make ourselves a pocket. Very nice. Let's open those crates and see what's in them. Oh, nice. Very handy. Oh, okay. Now we learned it, but you know what? That's fine. That's okay. We can sell this one. And what do we have here? Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. A cycle bike. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 he's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's stuck. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Big boy is stuck. We might want to go upstairs. Oh. oh, what the hell was that? Why did that car blow up? That gave me such a heart attack. Oh, that didn't kill him. Oh, that killed him. There's one more left somewhere. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, she's stuck. I love it. We never looted the car. I can see a zombie there in the distance. Nice repair kits. Lovely. The next level of electrocutioner is going to be at level 5. So, robotics inventor. If we do this, it unlocks the robot sledge crafting. I think we should start having a look at that. Yeah, let's do that. So, we should be able to do the robotic sledge, which is really nice because we have already some robotic parts. I think we have even more at home. And the workbench is something that we should be able to craft as well. Because the claw hammer is something that you can do by default. No, we can't. Oh, minus 69er. Okay, so the next point goes into minus 69er. I should have probably done that. Okay, now that we are home, we have access to leather and we have access to cloth. Which means we can make our pocket. I just realized we're actually running around the whole time without armor and we have a lot of glue now that we were crafting. So I think what we should do is start making some duct tape and actually get ourselves some padded armor done. 
I want to loot this little house here. It has a doggy in the window, so we have to be very careful. But I think if we go up the ladder there by the water tower, we can possibly shoot it in the face. And I'm also crafting iron arrows since ever, whenever I find some feathers. So we can switch temporarily over to the iron arrows as well. Yep, there he is. Boom, is he dead? Yes, he is. But the potentially... Okay, here we go. Because this is a mini gas station, we might find some more parts for the bicycle, which would be awesome. And of course, some gas in preparation for if we ever get a mini bike. Well, at least it's unlocked. That's great. Oh! That is a different room. For some reason, I thought it was the other room. <laughs> oh, hello. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. For some reason, I thought it was this room here with the dead doggy in it. And here's the loot. Nice. What do we have here? Oh, just some nails. And what is our loot stage now? Our loot stage is level 19. Oh, yes. We got some bandages and we got some more ammo. This is very good. We should actually... Um, can we repair this with leather or is that repair kits? Oh, with leather? Yes. Because in that case, I repair it to see how much it's worth. 46, that's not bad. Let's see what we have in the cooler. Nothing of interest. Oh, some medicine that would be nice. Oh, yes, look at that, beautiful. And we can now actually make first aid banishes as well because of the recipe we learned. There we go. Oh, yes, free iron arrows. This is a very good little house and it's right beside me. That was really nice. Is there something up top there? Looks like there could be something up top there. Maybe some good mineral water, no? And I don't think there's anything up top. Yeah, there was ammunition. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very nice. That is sweet. Does that fit on our pipe machine gun? Oh, my balls. Are you joking me? That is amazing. Increases accuracy in handling when aiming weapon. Bam, 6.1 extra damage. This is amazing. These pipe weapons must be the best thing so far they've added early game. I'm really, really happy about this. I mean, even I'm even getting enticed to do an intellect build, even though the baton is kind of a bit of a crappy weapon still. I have access to it. I don't feel like I have to pump like 20 points into intellect before I can make use of that intellect tree. I feel like, yes, I can make use of it right away. That was a really, really good addition, I have to say. Very happy about that. And also being able to use, oh, look at that, nice. And being able to also early game, take advantage straight away of um, mods like this one, like this bipod mod, that is just beautiful. And you think you're overpowered, but if you look at how many zombies you have now in towns and already have ferals roaming the streets even during the day in certain areas yeah because they're high level high level pois so you have like these high level pois mixed with the low level pois i think you need those weapons you actually will want to make uh, take full advantage of those weapons let's take the rest of our frames and let's chill a little bit and make the rest of those walls so i think we're gonna have to use those straight ish pieces now, they're not perfectly straight, that's the problem. They're kind of wobbly, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make a perfect dome. But you know what? We're going to try and see what we can do. Oh, we might actually want to put full blocks here because we want to make sure they can't slide in. So let's do that. Uh, put the full blocks here. So that is just to make sure that um, here they don't really get a chance to jump on anything on the side and just fall down. You see, there's a bit of a ledge there theoretically, I suppose, could jump on. Oh no, dogs! Okay, they're not jumping in, which is great. So let's just keep pounding them. Oh my god. Look at this. How many is that? Two. Okay, we killed one. Okay, use the hammer. Two. Okay, we need to repair this. Three. Okay, they're a bit confused by this. I love it. I hope the fun pimps don't see it or fix that. So we, I think we have five dogs that came in. Wow. There we go. Ooh, 
What a nightmare. Okay, I think we also leveled up, which is great. So we're gonna put this point into minus 69 er and that should hopefully unlock the hammer. Actually, we need to craft this. Um, the hammer, claw hammer, nice. So all we have to do is now go get some iron. We know a location for iron. We have to go and do a good grind. I like that if they actually did this now that iron is only around the mountain bottoms or whatever, it means flat maps are not really viable anymore. But also I like it because it means you have to plan a trip, you have to go and get iron. It's not just something that you have everywhere randomly flying around. It could still be, I have no idea. It just happens to be in our case that it was um, at the foot of a little hill. So this is the middle pieces of the dome which uh, fit perfectly onto the bottom pieces, of course. This one goes here, but then we have these three pieces here, which I'm not sure exactly how they fit. So we're looking for a middle, dome middle. Yeah. So let's see, this is, oh, what is this? And then we have some roundish pieces here. So let me have a look. Oh, this seems to be fitting this. Okay. And then we must have the opposite corner. Yes. And then we must have a middle. Oh, yes. This is what this is for. Oh, look at this. That is amazing. The way this starts coming together. Okay, so let's actually see what do we have for top parts. How, how is that going to fit in? Because eventually this is going to collapse, surely. So let's see what we have on dome top. Okay, so they are the flat pieces then, which I'm assuming... Yeah, so we are going to have to build something underneath. I mean... This looks kind of like that's how it's meant to be, but it means we're gonna have to use probably another piece underneath, like this one here, potentially. Yes, there we go. That's what we're supposed to have there. And that goes actually against it. There we go, look at that beauty. That's how it's supposed to work. Okay, so we're getting there, we're getting there. And now on top, we're gonna do the top pieces, like so. Oh, this is, this is nice. And then we have the corner piece to round it off. There we go. Look at this, this is amazing. But I think that's pretty much it. Now we're at the top of it, so there's nothing more we can really do except putting these square blocks everywhere to round it off. And you can see they're already going yellow which means as we get further into the center, we're gonna have to be able to take the weight of them. Okay, let's see how much we can actually do. Now, one thing that I noticed is there's these tiny little holes here. And I think there's a piece for that as well. I think so. Yeah, look at this, this is amazing. There actually is a piece for it. Look at this. Bam. Oh, this is so satisfying. This is so beautifully satisfying that they have a piece for that little dip that's missing in that corner. Look at it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find things that are still missing, but this is such an amazing ability already to give us some versatility. Here we go, and here we go. Look at this, very nice. And yeah, it looks a little bit awkward here because we're using it as an entrance, so we potentially could maybe change these blocks to be um, of a different shape or maybe actually the same shape. Oh no, you see that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. So we're gonna have to make them these shapes here. Like so. There we go, but then we have a little gap here. So yeah, I don't think it perfectly fits the way we might think it does. So I think we're just gonna have to leave it like this for now. But yeah, this looks amazing. So let's have a quick look at the bird's eye view of that. Look at this. How awesome is this that you can build a shape like this now? Now, it does give me yellow signs when I'm putting more blocks in, but that has more to do with the fact um, of the general stability, that we're not using a lot of cobblestone on all the edges. But once we upgrade all the base parts to cobblestone, at least, this will be very, very stable. All right, I'm going to leave the building for now. We're just going to quickly go over to the trader, hand in our quest. And these trees here, they're going to be ready for chopping very soon. What do we have here? 600? Yeah, that's going to be enough to get an initial search of wood. Unless we can buy some. Actually, let's go and take our chest with us of things we want to sell. And maybe we're lucky and he has some wood planks for sale.
Now, we got sugar butts on us. Oh, yeah, some food. We actually need to buy some food, I think. Anyway, we're going to take the sugar butts. We use them before we hunt in the quest, just in case it also helps increasing the money we get from quests. Then, one thing we're also going to do, you see this selling for 51? Well, we already have one of those in our baton, so let's put this one in here. And because it's level 4, boom, the percentage goes up drastically so we're now actually getting 393 basically for it, which is amazing really smart, so here we go yeah. helmet light mod yes oh but bullets oh my god okay light over bullets i'm sorry it's just we're gonna have to get the light it just is what it is so we're gonna have a fetch quest what do we have closest by here south if we're gonna take another fetch burn, quest of you and we're going to sell everything we own including this at 393 this is amazing so let's sell the weapon as well 79 only though you know what for the sake of having some money and being able to buy some resources what i'm going to do is because we have a headlight mod now i'm gonna take the weapon flashlight mod out which lowers our damage a little bit but i'm gonna put that into our level 3 weapon which is now gonna sell for 316 and i think that's a very good sacrifice because we now have a headlight anyway so light wise we're sorted so let's sell this there we go and sell everything else and we have 2000 on us now the very very good so let's see our oh, bottle of acid very handy especially seeing that we only have one wheel and we want to get this as a second wheel so let's do this let's buy one bottle of acid and there we go we also have a bicycle there for 6300 and our first normal pistol as well that would be really really nice but let's not worry about that too much let's see if they have any resources like wood oh no wooden bow though okay do you have any iron? Do you have any resources? You have forged iron, okay. Yeah, no resources here. I don't think they sell basic resources anymore like that. Oh, he actually had a helmet light mod. Oh my God, we could have bought that and take the ammunition as the reward. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I will buy the hobo stew though before we go and the rest we're just gonna come back for if All we right, need now anything. Now business. let's see what you, you have here. Can store. of peas, 10. This is very good because it's 15 food for 60. Very nice. What do you have here? Health bar, max armor, crit resist. We could use that going into our next POI depending how tough that POI is. And for 20, we're gonna get 10 food. Yeah, we're gonna take that as well. Okay, we're all ready to go on to our next quest. I have some food, I have some drink. We are fully healed. We have everything ready to go. And I've been working all night on my base. I chopped down every single tree and replanted them. Even more trees, three rows of trees now. And um, we are going to continue though in the next episode. Let's have a look at the back first. It was one of the zombies that, oh, look at that. Wow. Are you kidding me? Loot stage 22 and we're getting Forged Seal. This was a random zombie, by the way. This was not any of the new zombies. That was just one of the cheap ass zombies. The ones that you encounter first. Literally killed it, but I was working on my base. So I ignored the bag until I was able to record again with you guys to open it together. I did not think we get steel that early. That was a really lucky drop. And the bullets, of course, always appreciate that. <laughs> oh, nice. This is how we have the base right now. We have mostly everything upgraded to cobblestone on the base. So that will perfectly carry everything. We don't have to worry about anything jumping up. We still have to put some railings here on the side so that zombies don't do this and get tempted to do that. And also that we have this covered connecting to this so that zombies don't climb on top of each other and then go on the roof and then destroy everything from the top. We have everything in crates now. We have weapons and ammo here. We have a trader junk here. We have crafted stuff here. I made a lot of nails so I can make these storage crates. We have a lot of resources here. Well, not a lot, but this is where we put all our stuff then here. And we're gonna still have to make another wheel. We have to get ready to make the bicycle. We have to make a workbench, all that stuff. And yes, this is not gonna be big enough to house all that, but it's a good start. And this was mainly intended just to play around with the dome feature or the dome shapes. Um, if I would do it again, I would probably put a couple of blocks on the base about say, two blocks or three blocks high, and then I would start building the dome shape uh, top, which means you're gonna have still the same stability on the ceiling where everything is not gonna fall apart, 
but you also have it slightly raised, which is basically what I wanted. But, you know, it, this is going to work fine for the first attempt. And it's only for experimental. So once stable comes out, we're going to do something nicer where it's a little bit higher because I don't like the low roofs myself. Anyway, a lot of waffle. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming.